going on today guys I'm about to tell you why I think the parachute cloak is a better engineer buff than the goblin glider so the engineer profession has a profession perk where they get to put attachments on their gear and one attachment is a cloak attachment now you got two options here the first one is the one I think most people pick and that's the goblin glider you need 550 engineering you get to glide once every three minutes. Now the second one is the Flex Weave Underlay, better known as the Parachute Cloak. This one only has a one minute cooldown, and you can use it at level 405, maybe 400. Now the main reason I believe the Parachute Cloak is better than the Goblin Glider for the simple reason that Goblin Glider kits exist within the game. So, the Goblin Glider actually shares a cooldown with the Glider Kit, but those two don't share a cooldown with the Parachute Cloak. So if you use the Parachute Cloak, you then are able to use Glider Kits as well, which gives you two slow falls. There are a couple things to note. One, you cannot use the Goblin Glider with the Flag, but you can use the Parachute Cloak and the glider kits with the flag. I'm not sure if that's a glitch or if the glider is actually supposed to just for some reason not be able to be used with the flag. But the kit is and the parachute is. It's weird, but... And two, some mobility moves synergize really nicely with the parachute cloak. Two moves that come specifically to mind for the parachute cloak are the disengage or the vengeful retreat. I'll give you a quick clip right here. Now you could argue it doesn't add that much for the demon hunter since they can use their wings anyway. But not having to point your camera in the direction you want to float away if you're trying to break combat or trying to use it to catch up to people. There is something to be said there, but I'm still working on testing that one out for myself. Now for the monk, you can actually use Transcendence transfer mid-air to make yourself fall straight down. I'm assuming the same goes for Warlocks. I have not yet tried it though. <laughs> Bonus tip, if you end up fighting somebody underneath your air teleport for about a minute, you can actually teleport back up and then reuse the parachute cloak to get yourself back down for one additional juke. Now the one, the one problem that you might run into that I've had on a couple of classes is that you can't use the parachute cloak while another mobility move is being used. This was a change a few expansions ago. Now what really could happen basically, uh, let me paint a picture for you. You use flying serpent kick off the edge of lumber mill in a Rathby basin and for the remainder of the Flying Serpent Kick's intended duration, you cannot use the Parachute Cloak. So, what I mean is that, like, Flying Serpent Kick lasts for, I don't know, about 5-6 seconds? You cannot use the Parachute Cloak for about 5 or 6 seconds, even if you end the Serpent Kick early. If you Serpent Kicked off the edge, whether you end it or not, you won't be able to Parachute Cloak for another 6 seconds. If you're not prepared for that, it is an easy way to kill yourself. Just something to think about. I'm not sure if that's a glitch, probably, but be careful if you're on a class that has mobility moves, is all I'm saying. But I have not had an issue yet with the Dino. And that's about all I got for you today, guys. So if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to leave a like, drop a comment, and let me know which one you think is better. And are you about to switch to the Parachute Cult to try it out? Have a good one, guys, and good luck in the BGs. Don't forget to subscribe if you'd like to see more wacky content and drop a like if I'm on the right track and you're having a good time. Anyways, have a good one guys and Godspeed.